In the next two minutes, I'm going to show you how the VR Scientist works and why you need it if you're doing VR work with stitched or rendered images. Here we'll render a panorama. I have my awesome scene set up. It's around 3 million polygons, and I'm going to animate the camera moving around the cafe. Now I'm going to save the RGB files to a folder on the desktop. For the purpose of this video, I'm using a ridiculously low resolution of 512 by 256. I'm also speeding up this part by 16,000%. Seriously, this is sped up by 16,000%. You're welcome. At this point, you've gone off for coffee or eaten an entire cake, maybe two cakes. You come back a little bit later, and you have a few frames done. Let's see how they look. You don't need a headset. You just open the VR Scientist and point it to a file in that folder. Now you have the image loaded. Click to drag to pan around. You'll notice the rotation info in the lower right corner. If you push the up arrow, it advances to the next newest image in the folder. If you push the down arrow, it goes to the next oldest file in that folder. By pushing the up and down arrows, you can easily switch between images. Let's wait for a few more images to be done. The VR Scientist uses next to no CPU time when it's in the background. When you bring it to the foreground again, it auto-loads the latest image in the folder you're viewing. Let's use it to do a little investigating now. Keep in mind that your rotation is not reset every time you scrub a frame, so we can use this to find an area of interest and walk through every frame quickly to see what's going on right there on every single frame. You can zoom in with the scroll wheel for closer inspection. Even at our super low resolution, we can see a reflection on a chair that seems to be a little out of place. If this was a stitched image, we could use the edge tracker to locate areas stitching would have occurred in. This makes it super easy to see things we should correct that we might miss otherwise. Since this is a rendered panorama, we don't have that problem. The Stereopsis tracker will show you what the viewer's eyes actually see by blocking out an average area obscured by VR headsets. This is vital to framing interesting scenes so the user sees something happening off to the side. You can't assume the user will be waving their head around to catch all the action. This lets you see what they can see, depending on what they're currently looking at. This is normally difficult to impossible without putting on a variety of headsets and scrubbing through the frames looking all over the place. Lastly, if you have an Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, the VR scientist works natively with those. So all you have to do is bring the app to the foreground and put the headset on to see the latest image. Again, up and down arrows navigate the folder, as well as left and right on the D-pad for the HTC Vive. The VR Scientist will help you spot problems both in the production and staging of VR content, and reduce the amount of time you spend fumbling around trying to analyze images. Get your copy today at liberty3d.com slash VR Scientist.